My name is Monica McCullum. I'm an occupational therapist with Total Education Solutions, and I'm here today at Toyology Toys, and we are going to talk about different toys for developing fine motor, visual motor, and sensory skills in your child. Right now I have, for the youngest age, um, some great toys. This one can be used for some oral sensory things if you want to chew on them. It's great for developing fine motor skills to pinch and pull, an upper body strengthening toy. It works on so many good things and it's easy to clean. This next toy in the box here is kind of like our old fashioned stacks, but it has the added bonus of being very visually appealing by watching it go down like that. Another great adaptation for this toy is you can flip it over and it becomes a little bit more difficult when it wobbles around on the floor on the table. So this is a wonderful toy for your youngster. These right here are magnetic farm animals. So this is great. You can figure out how to put things together. Again, it's a fine motor skill and a hand strengthening skill. It will also teach you you can match colors and how you would match farm animals together. So it's a great play toy. Finally, we have this wonderful little bear. Um, another activity that uh, occupational therapists focus on is self-care skills. So this has all of your zippers, your buttons, your buckles. It's similar to the buckle board and the tying board. However, this is in a, in a fun bear, so you can play with it as well and it's a little more interactive. All right, so these are going to be toys for our little bit older kids, maybe about three to five years old. Um, in this age group, we really like to focus on play because that is your child's main occupation. Um, for this toy, it's really great to develop those fine motor skills, your hand strengthening with the squeezing, it's preparing them to use scissors when they get to school. You can use little eye droppers. It's a great fun activity that gets them really manipulating toys and working with their hands. This Quibbits Junior is really, really great for visual motor skills, so visual processing skills. So that is your child's ability to see something, interpret it, and then produce an output, a motor output, an action with it. You work on a lot of wonderful visual skills with that. Visual skills will help your child eventually develop um, their reading skills. I love this one, it's called Yuckology Slime Lab. It's going to work on your sensory skills with the, the feel, the touch of the slime. It's going to work on processing. How do I do, how do I follow the directions to make the slime turn out correctly? And these develop skills that would lead into something like making a recipe eventually. Throwing it back to our Hi-Ho Cheerio days for some of us older folks. This is a great, great game. This is great for fine motor development. To pick up those tiny little apples, you can hold on to them. Um, what that's called is in-hand manipulation when you're having to roll some of the, the apples in your hand and then take them out, placing them one at a time. And finally, this clay dinosaur. These are really great to work on hand strengthening. When we work on our eventual pre-writing and handwriting skills, we have to develop the hand strength, and strength as well. All right, now I want to show you some games for some of the lower elementary school age children. Um, this first one is Therapy Putty. So just like the clay, it's going to work on your hand strengthening. You can pull, you can create. It's a really great sensory and hand strengthening tool. These building blocks are similar to Legos, but they're very versatile. This I love to use bilateral integration, which just means bringing both hands together. If you put some of these colors in um, a pattern and have your, your child match it, you can have them create a stack, something very tall. Um, they're great, they're tiny, so it works on the fine motor skills in, your, in the fingers. This pluffle is kind of like the kinetic sand, so it's something that you can squish, you can feel. Um, sometimes our kids need to just kind of relax and have something that they can play with without having to think too much about it. This is a great activity for that. 
kind of along that line is this um, clay putty. It doesn't ever form. It can kind of flow out of your hands when you play with it. Fine motor development, building skills. Another throwback to our light bright days. So this can be a great visual processing game. Following things with your eyes, being able to see something, interpret it, and then put it out into an actual motor pattern. So this can be pattern development, you can work on visual or on color recognition, and it's very good for your fine motor skills. You're having to use those thumb and your first finger to pinch the um, lights into the, the background. And finally, this door palm, again, is going to be great for upper body um, coordination as well as visual processing. So you're having to have your eyes follow the ping pong ball and it's going to be in a door jam so you don't have to have an actual ping pong table and it's going to follow on a string. You kind of hit it back and forth and you're following it, adjusting your balance to make sure that you're able to hit the ping pong ball back and forth and keep it going. So this is a great skill developer. Great, now I'd like to talk to you about some toys and games that you can incorporate for uh, your older elementary school kids, maybe fourth to fifth grade students. Um, these also can be used for your lower elementary kids too. just kind of follow what your student or what your child is able to do and is interested in. Wiki sticks are a great tool. They are kind of like yarn wrapped in wax you can create different shapes. There's different animals you can create with them. I use these and they bend and they stick to the table. It's a really great, really great tool. Magnet tiles, we've heard about these. They are amazing. They're similar to Legos, but they're magnetic and you can build with them very high. Again, fine motor skills, building skills, visual motor skills and, and motor planning. When I talk about motor planning, that just means how am I going to get to the end goal? Uh, if I have all of these tiles, if I stack them up, what is it going to look like? How am I going to make it so it doesn't fall down? This is really nice. It is play foam and it's kind of like you put it in inside of the, the form. So on this one, it is a cute little unicorn. You're using these to pick up so it's it's tool development it's using your your hands kind of like a pre-writing skill and you put each piece of foam into its its specific spot avocado smash is kind of a fun game it's a it's a quick game and you can use it for hand strengthening as well and kind of uh, like upper extremity movement um, because you get to actually smash it down so who doesn't like to do that Moncala is a really great game for those in-hand manipulation skills. So these are going to help again with your writing. You get to hold on to each marble. You have to pick them up, make sure they don't fall out of your hand. You're working on developing the pinky side of your hand, which is another great way to make sure your, your child is writing correctly. All right, the last one is this fun game. It is pencil nose. So instead of drawing with your hands, you get to use another part of your body. This is fun because you get to put on some glasses. You're going to put a marker right in the nose here with the pencil and you get to draw on this board. So it not only works on your shoulder stability, which is another um, necessary tool for our handwriting skills, um, you get to work on visual processing. So again, you're taking something close by, you're having to kind of cross your eyes because you're going to be writing on the board with your nose instead of your hands. So great, fun game. You're gonna get a lot of laughs out of this. Lastly, I wanna show you some games and toys for some of our older children. So this might be for fifth grade, sixth grade. Again, you can use these toys for um, whatever age your, your child is at. Just make sure that they're uh, going to have success with it because that's how they're going to enjoy playing with them a little bit more. This is called Tenzi. It's a dice game. It's really great. You can again work on those um, developing the arches of your hand when you're rolling dice. This can be something to help with following directions. This might say everyone guesses in advance what they're going to roll. So it works a lot on um, different communication skills. You have to Think about what might come next. Can Doodle is another puzzle game. 
It has cards that you might have to follow, so you have to follow uh, pattern recognition. This has little balls and it's on a magnet, so you kind of stack them up, so that's another good fine motor skill, um, motor planning activity. Good old jack sets are great. It's working on fluidity of movement, so just how well you can have movement with your fine motor skills. You have to drop the ball, pick up the number of jacks, and without dropping anything. This is a Buddha board. Very fun, you just use a paintbrush with water and it is kind of like a, a zen feeling. So again, this is gonna be our sensory toy. It's a handwriting skill. Uh, the board actually lifts up, so you work on it kind of on a vertical surface. This vertical surface is great for working on developing your wrist stabilizers. Again, this is gonna help a lot with handwriting skills. This fun game is very complex. <laughs> it's a labyrinth, you have to get the ball out of the maze. So again, you're gonna hold it out, you're working on your shoulder stability, you're moving your arms, you're moving them up and down, back and forth, and you're having to use your vision to help the ball, guide the ball through the maze. For our future crocheters, we do have this loom. It's, um, you get to make fun bracelets, this would be great for a birthday party. Um, and again, you're, you're working on those fine motor development skills. Now lastly, this is our paper love book. So it has a bunch of different activities in it. You can fold. This is a great tool because it's helping with our handwriting skills, which is the main, main component that I work on. Thank you for spending time with me today. I hope you enjoyed going over the different toys and games that can help your child develop their fine motor, visual motor, and sensory skills. Again, my name is Monica McCullum. I'm an occupational therapist with Total Education Solutions. If you do notice that your child is having some difficulties in any of those areas when they're playing with these games, feel free to check out Total Education Solutions. They offer free screens. We can give you tips and tricks, and you can work with a clinician to determine if occupational therapy would be a good fit for your child. Again, have fun, enjoy, check out Toyology Toys, and happy playing.